I have some friends that do not have a sewing machine, so I picked up some items at the Dollar Tree to sew a whole outfit without a sewing machine. And you see um, a t-shirt, some scissors. I like the pattern in this necklace, necktie. And if the necktie instructions look too hard, you could use a recycled shirt. Um, I have a headband. I like this pink with little blue and white flowers. Um, I love this little sewing kit. And I found the placemat. All at Dollar Tree. Inside this little handy dandy sewing kit are needles, uh, pen, uh, safety pins and straight pins, and some buttons. For when I teach little children to sew, I use the safety pins instead of the straight pins. And we will need a button for this project. You have a uh, tape measure, and I'll show you how to thread a needle with this, um, I guess it's called a threader. You just stick the wire part of the threader in, put your thread inside the wire part, and then pull everything through the eye of the needle and you've got a threaded needle. Also in this kit, you have this, these scissors, but they are mm, pretty useless. Uh, so you will have to buy a, a pair of scissors at the Dollar Tree. They're pretty good. Also included is a thimble. I rarely use one unless I am um, sewing on thick fabric. You have several colors of thread, the basic colors. I think the instructions in this video will be easy enough for a child to try. As usual, I have a pattern and I drew my pattern on a folded piece of fabric, the t-shirt fabric. And as I said before, I will be sewing the whole outfit by hand. It was hard not to use my, don't cringe, but I have five sewing machines and two sergers. Yes, I've been sewing a long time. If you've never tied a knot at the end of the thread, I'll show you an easy way. You wrap it around your finger and push the needle, my hands are dry, push the needle through that little loop and then tie. Leave a long tail on it. I'll show you why. Start out on a flat surface and again this is for people who have never sewn before so I'm going to explain everything. So you're doing up and down, up and down stitch called a running stitch. And you'll see me check my thread several times just trying to keep it from um, looping or knotting up. So I'm sewing right on the lines and I am sewing just a plain up and down stitch. You can sew one at a time or you can go in and out. I'm, I'm going in and out, what, two, three times and then pulling. Do not pull your fabric tight. Keep it as flat as you can. Continue the stitch all the way to the end, and I am going to show you real-time sewing. You'll see me continue to check my thread and not to pull the fabric too tight. That'll make it pucker, and I'm smoothing as I go. And again, I think a child maybe eight or nine could make this... Um, American Girl doll shirt. Okay, I'm almost at the end. I'm going to show you an easy version of the back stitch. You're basically sewing almost like weaving uh, under where you went over and over where you went under. I'll show you more details on the other side of the shirt. but I wanted to show you how I tied off this side with that long tail that I have remaining. And that thread should stay in the shirt if you tie it off. 
and I'm just tying it like I would a shoelace, two knots. And you, when you do this step on the sewing machine, it's called the back stitch, and you'll see people who are sewing on videos um, press a little button and their machine will back up and that secures that last stitch. Wow, this is so much easier on the sewing machine. I look a little bit like I'm fumbling along there. Kind of awkward. And next step is just snip your threads. Not too short, not too long. Okay, you're starting out again with that running stitch and I'll show you a little bit more detail on the back stitch. Here it is. I'm sewing under where the thread is on top. And then I'm going to go over where the thread is on the bottom. And of course your machine will do that for you. And if you're a beginner beginner, you'll want to do probably just one stitch at a time. And if you've got a little more, a little more experience at the hand stitching, you can just pick up the end of that fabric and it will go much faster. And if you've watched many of my videos, you'll notice that I do sew before I cut. And as you take your last stitch, you will tie it off like you did the other side. And now you're ready to cut. I'm cutting right on the line, but when I get to my stitches, I'm cutting maybe about a fourth, sometimes less than a fourth of an inch. And you can see I'm cutting the bottom right on the line. And when you get to that corner, you need to make a clip and that keeps the fabric from puckering under the arms, keeps it nice and smooth and you'll do the same thing on the other side. You cut your neck opening. I folded my fabric and I'm going to step over to the ironing board and press some guidelines so that I can cut the back opening. You see my crease from the iron. Make sure, make sure you open it up and just cut one side or the back side and you have a back opening. Now you're ready to turn it to the right side. I'm pushing my sleeves in and I can't say enough about pressing your seams. It just makes a finished garment. Dolls, babies, children, adults, it just looks better. And now I will press it with my iron. But I did want to show you that if you use white thread or any of the threads that come in the kit, you will be able to see the stitches. But I am trying to show you an economical way to make your clothes for your own doll. But if you just happen to have that color thread, it will make it look better. If you want to stop there and just pin the back of the doll shirt, that's fine, but I'm going to show you how to sew a button on it. Notice I didn't hem the bottom, the sleeves, or the neckline. With t-shirt fabric or most knits, you don't have to hem it if you're going to use it for your own dolls. All right, let's sew a button on. Notice I've tied another knot in the thread. And I'll trim off the little tail this time. And you could start on the outside if you want to, because that little knot will be covered up by the button. And I'm putting the needle in one hole and back through 
the hole beside it. Notice I put my needle back into the right side of the fabric and I'm trying not to push it both through both the front and the back and I'm making sure my thread stays um, nice and straight and I'm going to find that little hole again or else find one of the other holes and so another stitch in the hole beside it. You just want to keep it neat if possible. Here's another way to do it. You just kind of stick your needle down in there and hope it goes through one of the holes. And you don't need very many stitches for doll clothes. When you're ready to tie the thread, give yourself a good two inches. And again, just tie it like you would a shoestring. Okay, I'm going to show you a no-sew buttonhole, and this works on knit fabric. Cotton fabric will probably ravel, but I am drawing two lines the size of my button, and then a line up the middle, and I'm going to cut that line up the middle. And there you go, a buttonhole with no sewing machine. I had to make this video two parts. I'll show you how to make the skirt and the shoes in the next, next video. So if you know any beginner beginners, be sure to show them this video.